You should not go into your week having no idea what to do with your nutrition. That's essentially like just going on a road trip to somewhere, but not even plotting out the route. You're probably going to take all kinds of detours, deviations, and might not even get there. So the key to do this is to ensure that you've got a map in place. And for my clients who are looking to get stronger, build muscle, lose a belly and love handles, we implement a high energy meal map. And I'm going to talk you through that process today. So typically what's going on with nutrition is you're making it up as you go along. You're getting to lunchtime and you're thinking, oh, what shall I eat? What do I fancy? And invariably, you'll end up making a poor decision and just getting something that tastes good. Now that's great in the short term, but the thing is you're clearly not going to be making the best decision and you're not going to be getting the nutrients that you need. And you want to guarantee that you are doing so to get the results that you want. This isn't just about you getting into shape. This is about you feeling healthy and feeling energized. And so you need to ensure that you're getting the nutrients that you need to make that happen. So you need a plan, you need to map this out. And the other reason why you need to do this is because this is gonna save mental energy. You're not gonna to get to lunchtime and think, what shall I eat? Where shall I go? You're going to know ahead of time. On Sunday afternoon, you are going to know on Thursday afternoon exactly what you're having for lunch. And that's actually going to allow you to be more productive and energized because you're just taking one less decision out of your day. And let's face it, that's a pretty important decision because if you're having something that doesn't align with how you want to feel, how you want to look, that's potentially going to have a negative impact on your productivity performance, not just your physique and health. So we need to make sure that we've got a plan and we're mapping this out on a daily basis. First thing you need to do is know what your macros are. If you don't know what your macros are, I'm going to link a weight loss calculator in the description so that you know exactly how much you should be eating for your goals. Now, once you've done that, you need to take your macros and just for ease, divide that number by four. The next thing I want you to do is figure out which meals you are eating out and which meals you are eating at home. And then you need to have a plan in place for each of those. For those meals that you are eating out and at home, just make sure that they are in the calendar and make sure that you know exactly where they are. Then the next thing you need to do is actually plan out what those meals are going to look like. So you've got your number, you've divided it by four, you know where you're going to be eating. So you've got a couple of options. Now, the easiest thing that you can do, and this is what I do, is use a meal delivery. Find one online and pick meals. Firstly, the ones at the highest protein, because that's going to make a dent to you achieving your protein goals. Now, the carbs and fats don't matter so much. They're going to include them, but that could actually potentially help you have a little bit of a buffer to include some foods that you do like, maybe some treats later on in the day. But you want to make sure you are at least hitting your protein number with those meals every single day. Now, if you're not using a meal delivery service, next thing I'll do, and I'm just focusing on convenience, get some ready meals in. Again, this is just from a convenience perspective. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy. In the UK, for example, they've got a service called Gym Kitchen. Just get a load of those, bang them in the freezer, and you know you've got something that's macro-focused, high protein, and is gonna take you towards you achieving your goals and making a better choice than you usually would. Or if you've got lots of time, do a meal prep. Some people love to cook. I'm not one of those people. This is gonna allow you to have a bit more precision on the process because you're going to be able to determine exactly how much protein you can have in each meal, how much carbs and how much fat. And so with that level of precision, you're easily gonna be able to achieve your goals. The only trade-off here is that it's gonna be a little bit more time consuming. But if, unlike me, you enjoy cooking, then go for it. Now that essentially looks after your home meals and maybe some of the meals that you have at work. That said, you want to determine what you're going to be eating when you're at work. So pick out the restaurants that are nearby and pick out those foods that have high protein options and are gonna be fairly close to the macros that we are aiming for. So if you're in the UK, for example, places like Itsu, places like Pret, they have the menu online already. So just go and have a look, pick those dishes that are the highest protein, close to your macros, and commit to eating those ahead of time. So that means when it comes to lunchtime, you're not scratching your head wondering what to eat. You know that you're just gonna blitz it down to Pret, pick up your sandwich or your bowl or whatever it is, get back to the desk, eat that, then get back to work. And that's going to save you a lot of time as well. And finally, those meals out. Now they're going to be blocked out. Commit to eating the highest protein dish. And when you are in the restaurant, don't be afraid to be that guy to make special requests. That's exactly what I do. I always ask for sauces on the side. I might pretend I'm allergic to dairy, so no butter, things like that, just to ensure that I'm not eating more calories than I need to while still having a good meal. Link to that point, I'm going to link a video below that tells you exactly what to do in scenarios where you need a little bit more flexibility. 
Now, the final thing that you should do is once you've planned out all of these meals, make sure you pre-track them. So open up MyFitnessPal, put these meals in, and make sure that when you put them in, you are actually hitting your targets. For the meals that you don't know about, that's absolutely fine, just leave them blank. You use one of the methods in the video that I mentioned that I'd link below. But it's really important to pre-track because then you know that you're going to be hitting your targets on a daily basis, which is the most important part of this process. Now the final bonus, try not to have too much variety during your week. If you are making meals, I would always pick two go-to meals for each. So personally, I don't mind having the same breakfast, lunch and dinner every single day. And any client that I've ever had who's had really successful weight loss does not crave variety. They are able to eat the same nutritious foods consistently. Yes, it needs to be something that you enjoy, but try and be consistent. So I would say pick two options for lunch and dinner and just stick to those two options every single day. Again, that's gonna help remove some of the decision fatigue and it's also going to guarantee some form of consistency. And that consistency is gonna to lead to you getting the results that you want. So there you have it guys, there's a quick strategy for you to ensure that you're going to be able to hit your goals and most importantly, have the clarity that's gonna ensure that you make the best decisions on a daily basis without even thinking about it. Let me know in the comments if you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video.